God laid a path, he opened a door, and he actually went before us and provided everything that we needed to do these simple instructions for these kids. from all over the world and they all met up in this jungle in Honduras. There was a mountain unscalable even when my lost heart was unlovable. My hopes for the people in that community is that every time they see that well, which is every day at that schoolyard, they will think back to the people that came and helped them by drilling the well. But more importantly, they're going to see that as a reminder of Jesus Christ and his love for clean water, that if they drink of his love, that they will never thirst again. I can't stand with you forever in the presence of my Savior, alive and free. They came to school every day and had to take a pill that would help kill parasites so that they could stay healthy. As a result of having a well there with fresh water, they don't have to take that pill every day. And in all likelihood, they're gonna be a lot healthier and the families are gonna be a lot healthier too. Where there is a child, now but, um, The people who got the biggest blessing was us. And what I learned is that it's not what you have, it's the, the heart that you have, uh, the heart that you have to enjoy the things you do have. And these people uh, were happy as they could be. They needed uh, fresh water, but they didn't need any of our stuff to be happy and content. And uh, I think we could learn a lot from them. say to a member of Woodridge who's considering going on a living water mission trip, I would say sign up now. I plan to sign up for the next one.